With the NP5, you'll get more light output than the NX5 with lots of tech improvements that will likely make it even more popular. We will dive into some of the tech that you'll find in the NP5 and then go over how it performed in our testing. When you look at the press releases for the NP5, JVC doesn't really go over what we think is one of its best features. We suspect it's because they just take it for granted since their projectors are geared towards home theater enthusiasts. This big feature is lens memory. Having lens memory allows you to have the widescreen experience that we are big believers in here at Audio Advice. Almost 85% of blockbuster movies are shot in widescreen, and all you need to enjoy movies in full widescreen glory is a 2.40 screen and a projector with lens memory. This lets you set one memory for the normal 16x9 content and another for widescreen movies. The NP5 is the least expensive true 4K projector that we know of that has lens memory to get you into that amazing immersive experience. And even better, JVC gives you 10 memories. Now there's a new aspect ratio showing up in a lot of Netflix and European movies, which is 2.0. Now this is wider than 16.9, but not quite as wide as 2.4. With 10 memories, you can easily handle any of these and any future aspect ratios. To learn more about aspect ratios, we'll leave a link below for you to watch our widescreen explained video. Now one big reason home theater gurus love JVC projectors is how advanced they have gotten into their support of high dynamic range or HDR. HDR10 was the first initial version that allowed the studios to deliver content with an even better picture. Metadata is embedded in the video feed that instructs your display to produce more variations of colors, deeper blacks, and whiter whites. This is a true technological breakthrough that we felt was just as big as 4K. Now there is just one catch in the projector world. HDR10 was designed around flat panel TVs that have the ability to produce light output in the range of 1000 to 4000 nits. For reference, one nit is equal to one candela or one candle power per square meter. Front projectors are usually only able to produce about 50 to 200 nits at the most. Immediately after HDR10 was introduced, projector software engineers started working on ways to interpret the HDR10 data to allow it for the best performance. Now JVC came out with what is called Frame Adapt HDR. Their software looks at the incoming signal frame by frame and changes the tone mapping dynamically by analyzing the HDR10 data. The cool part about Frame Adapt HDR is the fact that you can greatly improve how any HDR system works if you know the true light output the display can deliver. With the home theater optimizer, you can actually input the size of your screen and using a table, the software in the projector knows your throw distance based on the zoom setting, so it can take the data you input on your screen and perfectly match the incoming HDR10 data to your system using their home theater optimizer software. That is just a fantastic feature. This feature was present on the NX5, but the NP5 takes it even further. HDR10 Plus is an interesting development based on HDR10. HDR10 told the software two pieces of data, the maximum brightness for the entire movie and the average brightness. While well, HDR10 Plus sends over a constantly changing stream of luminance data, which allows HDR to deliver an even closer representation of what the producer wanted us to see. As you might have guessed, the NP5 can handle that HDR10 Plus. All right, now if all of this HDR talk has your head spinning, we can assure you getting it set up right is just two simple steps. We'll tell you about these in our exclusive tips and tricks article when you purchase your JVC projector from Audio Advice. One reason that the NP5 weighs in at a whopping 43 pounds is its all glass 65 millimeter lens. Now if you're into photography, you know how important the lens is and it's great to see JVC using this type of lens. You will also not have to worry about HDMI changes with the NP5. It supports the latest HDMI spec that we expect to be used for all future types of content. Now these two inputs also support the latest tech for video gaming, which is 4K 120p. And for lumens, the NP5 gives you 1900 lumens compared to the 1800 lumens on the NX5. Now this will let you stretch that screen size that you were dreaming about even larger. While the menu is the same as JVC had in the NX5, it is a deep and extensive menu that will let you adjust all kinds of levels to fine tune your projector should you desire. However, we suggest for the most part, you can just leave them right at their factory settings. Should you wish to take things to the max and feel like a professional calibrator, JVC has a piece of software that you can download to use with an external optical meter. 
A good meter will cost you about $200, but with a laptop and the meter, you can get extremely close to where a professional calibrator would take it, and it's all fairly automatic. When it comes to build quality, JVC projectors are just built like tanks. As we mentioned before, the NP5 is 43 pounds, and we highly recommend you have a friend help you when you go to hang the projector. JVC stands behind their build quality with a three-year warranty and a one-year advanced replacement warranty, which is pretty incredible. When we put the NP5 to the test in our home theater lab, we were immediately thrilled with the black levels that it was capable of. Even during some of the darkest scenes that we could find, the dark shadows were brilliantly replicated with natural and deep black colors. Now, when we input our screen size on the Home Theater Optimizer and had the Frame Adapt HDR on, the dynamic tone mapping did an outstanding job at keeping even the brightest of scenes well exposed and the darkest part of the scene still extremely viewable. SDR content also was produced really well with good mid-tones and lifelike skin tones that really added to its cinematic look. Now on top of all of that, the sharpness and detail right out of the box with its true 4K picture really had us impressed. The finest details were crisp and clear, drawing us into each movie that we watched. And the processing in the NP5 handled the motion really well, especially when playing back a 24 frames per second movie. There was no judder or motion blur, which gives you that supernatural and cinematic feel as if you were actually at the movie theaters. Now the DLA NP5 takes everything we loved about the NX5 and improved upon it. You get more horsepower, HDR10 plus processing, and higher speed future-proof inputs. We cannot think of another projector with all glass lenses, true 4K, and lens memory for widescreen that is priced as low as the NP5. Then when you throw in JVC's Frame Adapt HDR with Home Theater Optimizer, you have a projector that is hard to beat. Even with screens as large as 160 inches diagonal with a good Stuart Studio Tech 130 G4 screen and a light controlled room, you will have plenty of output. Now I hope this video has given you a good idea of what the JVC NP5 projector is capable of. Now when you purchase from Audio Advice, we offer free shipping, expert support, and a price guarantee. And if you still have more questions, reach out to our team of experts via phone or chat with us at audioadvice.com and we'd be happy to help you out. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.